History of Arnis Arnis is a system of Filipino martial arts founded by the late Remy Presas as a self-defense system. His goal was to create an injury-free training method as well as an effective self-defense system in order to preserve the older Arnis systems. The term modern Arnis was used by Remy Presas, younger brother Ernesto Presas, to describe his style of Filipino martial art since 1999. Ernesto Presas called his system combatant, which is principally derived from the traditional Presas family style of the bolo or machete and the stick dueling art of balintawak eskrima, with influences from other Filipino and Japanese martial arts. Arnis is a Philippine martial art or sport. After President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo signed the Republic Act No. 9850 in 2009, the Act mandates the Department of Education to include the sport as a physical education course. Arnis will be included among the priority sports in Palarong Pambansa or National Games in the beginning of 2010. Here are the examples of equipments or impact weapons used in Arnis. Rattan, Kamagong, Bahi, and Modern Materials. Hi, I am Lilian Martinez. I will be talking about, about the terminology of Arnis. First, Yung Handle necessity in this combat. Its material provided vital protection from head strikes while maintaining motion capabilities. It is covered with high-grade leather vinyl and printed with ethnic art. Multi-thickness and metal prints that they strategically developed for impact protection. The next protective gear is body armor. It is designed to provide thorough upper body protection while allowing mobility and protection. The armor is composed of hard plastic and vinyl for lightness and increased comfort and impact absorption. Lower panels extended to increase protective coverage. The next protective gear is leg guard. Provide complementary protection to the other Arnis battle gear. They were designed not only protection but also comfort and practicality. The guards can be used to protect both thigh and shin area. The next protective gear is groin. As padding for the lower abdomen and a special contoured groin cup to provide complete protection to the groin area. The male groin guard is kept in place by dual velcro strap, which ensure comfort and easy in wearing. The last protective gear is hand gloves. Serve as protection from strikes as the stick is held in hand. Its design and structure further ensure that a stable grip is maintained. Open palm design for easy grip and finger flexibility. Thick rubberized protection and hard plastic for impact of absorption. Opponents will begin and end all matches with a salute or bow to each other and the judges. Referee will position fighters beyond the range. At the start of every round, only attack with the stick and feet are allowed. Single stick competition. It is not legal to block a stick. With your free hand, however, arm stopping at part range or arm shaking is allowed. No knee strikes or elbow strikes. No kicks below the base or above the knee. Hi, I am Shaira Din Torres and I am here to present you the officiating official stick arms. Referees and judges. Officials who enforce conduct of all content are accordance to the rule and regulations of the game. They are the officiating officials of the tournament whose decisions are final. Tournament director, the administrator and chairperson to ensure proper implementation of all procedures. 
Tomacho. Arrange the matches prior to the tournament and arrange matches between players during the tournament. Flag officials. Officials who declared violation of the performers by raising the corresponding flags. Screen committee includes the tournament official and the position as members. Thank you and I hope you learned something from this video. Five basic fundamental skills in Arnis. Ready. Stand straight, holding their knees in the front of the bat. Salute. Trace the weapon across the chest and bow. Fighting stance. Open legs and straight position. Both knees slightly bent. Forward stance. One foot step forward. Back leg keep straight. Rear foot held at 45 degree angle. Keep the front knee bent. Backward stance. Distance of four step between the feet. Both knees slightly bent. Rear foot held at 90 degree angle. 70% of the body weight on the rear foot while 30% is placed on the front foot. Good day! Let's talk about strikes in our knees. First, left side of the head attack. A diagonal downward forehand, swing to the left, turn fall. Second, right side of the head attack. A diagonal downward backhand, swing to the striking, right, turn fall. Third, left side of the body or torso. To the left arm or elbow. Fourth, Right chest stab. In this stance, the practitioner will practice the scooping action. And the last one, right lower leg. Again, like the 8th strike, the main target here is the right lower leg, which immobilizes the opponent. By doing this, the palm should face downward. Kind of stance in harness. Open stance. Stance with your feet apart parallel to the shoulder with both toes pointing forward. The knee should be straight. The waist and the body facing forward. Scraddle stance are commonly used for blocking the strike to the side of the body. If the left foot moves to the side, it becomes left foot side stance commonly used for strike deflection and evasion technique right backward stance technique or any other technique that targets the upper part of the body 